Welcome to the third video of how to use Vapor. In the first video I did an introduction of Vapor, and in the second video I did an area time series. In this video I will do a roster download. I will download the same data as the second video. So in the second video I did an area time series of an sugarcane scheme in Ethiopia for evapotranspiration. In this video I will download a 2019 roster file of evapotranspiration in the same area to see the, dif to see the differences inside the area. The area was available for 30 meters, so that's the best pixel resolution, so I go to 30 meters. The area was located in the hours basin in Ethiopia, so I click on this one, go. So for a roster downloads, uh, you need to go to the left corner and you click on analysis. So what I told you in the second video, you have four options. This time we go for area roster download. You can choose the data. Uh, for this example, I want a for transpiration data of only 2019, so yearly data. So I click also on annual. Um, it is important um, if it's already set at 2019, it's important to still to change back to 2019 to be sure it's uh, it's settled. So uh, after you, you've done this, you go to place, select area, then you go new area. You have two options, draw and upload shapefile. In the last video, I used upload shapefile, so for now I choose the draw tool to draw my own roster. So now you have a, you have a, a blue point on your mouse. Uh, my area is located here. So I will just draw around the, my, irrig my irrigation scheme of sugarcane. And you, you can just, you can draw your own area by clicking and to create a polygon. And last time you click one time, also at the first point. So now if you draw on your shapefile, and if you do a run operation, Vapor will download your roster on the active layer, on the active layer what you see, so evapotranspiration 2019. The downloading proce processing can take some minutes, so I will skip this part. The download is finished from Vapor, so if you click on the green button next to completed, you will download the roster file of your own drawn area. So now you have your roster file. And if you uh, drag it into your GIS, you can open it in GIS. So now you have the, uh, your own drawn uh, roster file in GIS. I'll make this hollow to see it better. So if you want, so with this roster down, you can create your own maps, and also if you want to do it. You can clip it to your own area if you want. I won't do it right now. Um, what is important to know uh, are the values if you're downloading roster files. Because if you see, um, it said the highest value is 26,373, and the lowest is almost 3,000. Um, the unit uh, normally is the unit of evapotranspiration is in millimeters. Um, so, but so it is important to know if you are downloading roster files, you need to check uh, in the legend what the conversion factor is if you are downloading uh, rosters. So now the layer is um, the current layer is April translation of two thousand nineteen, and if you click on see more and catalog, you can see the conversion. To the, to the right unit. So the right unit here is in millimeters. Um, so you need to see a con conversion factor. And it says the pixel value in a downloaded 
data must be multiplied by 0 0.1. So that means the downloaded data is not 26,000, but uh, 2,600. And the lowest is not almost 3,000, but almost 300. You can also change the color to see a nice difference. So I will change now from blue to red. So now it means blue means there's a lot of evapotranspiration of 2019, and, re and red means there's almost no evapotranspiration or little. So this is how you need to download rosters. Um, so it's important to know that you don't forget the conversion factor to check it. Um, um, yeah, so that was the roster download. So uh, thank you very much.